Tommy, we are talking air tools and compressors, two things you've got a long history with. Long history, we've been using air tools for a long time. Way back when, we had a big compressor in one of the trucks and we had a big tank in it, and we used to run one line in the house and then branch off that and run all of our air tools, sanders, air screwdrivers, to uh, chisels, to sprayers. Really? Everything was air. Yeah, well, those days are gone because we've got a lot of batteries on the job yeah. site, but not completely gone. We still have um, things that we need the air gun for. Yeah. Uh, the compressor, how's it work, basically? Well, the compressor actually works. It pulls air and forces it under pressure into an air tank. Little engine right here doing that. Right. Intake okay. is right here, looks like. Exactly, so yeah. when, the, when the compressor fills up, this gauge right here will tell me how much this compressor will bring in. It mm -hmm. might pull up 110 pounds of pressure, all right? And this one might do the same thing. But I wanna be able to control the air that's going out to the tool that I'm gonna right. use. So this valve right here, I will turn and adjust that valve till it gets to the required amount of pounds per square inch. And a lot of tools use. have actually got it listed right on there, what they want you to fire it at, 90 PSI, 100 PSI, and such. Right, and this one might be 40 or 45 pounds gotcha. per PSI. Okay, maintenance on these things, generally speaking? Yeah, well, first of all, there's probably gonna be an air filter that takes the air that's coming in, so that there's dust in the air. You wanna make sure you keep that clean. Yep. The other thing, some of these have a belt on them and some of them you need to change the oil on them so you want to keep keep your eye on that and if it needs to be changed change right. the oil or repair the belt and they can build up water because we know that any time that we compress air will actually push the water squeeze the water out of it and that can accumulate on the bottom of the tank it, it can and even even in the summertime uh, when it's humid out you even get more air in it and it's very important a lot of people don't know this but every single day you want to open this valve with air in the tank and let it just drain out to yeah. get dry the tank. You won't get rust in the tank, you won't even get any of the air into your tools, which would be a big no. Right, the water that's in the tank will come out under pressure, and if you're spraying, you'll actually get water added to your paint, and that could be bad. So a couple different options here, and there are tons of options, big and small. Let's talk about what a homeowner should be thinking about in terms of buying one, what they choose. Well, if you're a homeowner, and you know, or even a, a contractor, and you're just gonna do small work, like a finish work, all the time, you're gonna need a small gun. Then you yep. can take this little lightweight compressor right here and go around room to room and do all your trim work. It's gonna be fine. So that one is rated at one gallon, size of the tank. Um, it can shoot 135 max PSI. This number right here, 0.7 SCFM at 90 PSI, what is that? That's the standard cubic feet per minute that this compressor can keep up with. So right. if I wanted to shoot at 90 PSI or use a tool at 90 PSI, it can run at 0.7 cubic feet per minute and, and keep that going continuously. Right, and it could run this gun because it, this gun has a very little reservoir in it, mm. very little tank. When you fire, it's one burst, boom, and that's gonna come back. Boom. But, a, but a tool like this, which is a sander, maybe a mechanic uses this, right. um, this one's gonna be it's going gonna, constantly. It's gonna require a lot of cubic feet of air per minute. So we're out of that tank and we're into this one. His is an eight gallon tank. Yep. Again, that's the size, but here's two numbers. 4.8 SCFM at 40 PSI. 40 PSI, 40 pounds per square inch. So that sander will run at 40 pounds per square inch, like this spray gun right yeah. here. If it's rated for 4.8. If it's rated for that. But if we went up to 90 PSI, more pressure, it's gonna drop down this volume to 3.7. Right. The pressure's too small. Gotcha. So you wanna size it right for the tool. Okay, good information, I appreciate it. Did you miss the old days? Uh, once in a while. <laughs> But I still like the battery tools now. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.